begrüßen. Welcome, Lisa Thank McHugh. You very much for you're, having me. you're very, very welcome indeed. You. Lisa, you're from Scotland originally. I am, yes. Whereabouts in Scotland? I was originally born in Glasgow. Glasgow? Yes. yes. And uh, what what brought you to Ireland? Because you've been to Ireland quite a few times, haven't you? Yes, my mum and dad. Do you relations? Yeah, they're both Irish. My dad was born in Castle Derrick in Tyrone. Okay. And my mum was born in Fulcara in Donegal. Right. So ever since I was a wee tot, I've been over and back all the time. And what age did you get the singing bug? Oh, I can't even remember. I think I was standing on the kitchen table at the age of maybe two or three okay, singing Okay, and you always had songs. a bit of a singing voice? Yeah, yeah. Now tell me, uh, over the years then, did you do some competitions or did you do some charity functions to get some experience? How, how does that work? Yeah, well I started obviously singing at Christmas parties and things when we were younger. My dad used to always okay. have Christmas parties. And was this in Glasgow? In Glasgow, yes. Okay. And then obviously through school, um, I kind of went and I took music as a, a subject in school and we done the different concerts and got ourselves a little band and kind of I was just building my confidence at that at that age um, and then the, the older I got I made my first CD for my right, 16th yeah. birthday 16 16th birthday we made right. my first CD yeah. um, what was the title of that that was called teardrops no that was that was the first one the first very first one was called um, show me heaven Show Me Heaven. Show Me Heaven. At the start, I wasn't really into country music. Yeah, because Show Me Heaven is slightly yes, away from the country. It was a kind of mixture yeah, at okay. that age. Um, and and what, what, at what time did you decide that country music was for you? Um, well, I'd always grown up with country music when, when we were in the car going to yeah, Ireland. The parents would have the oldest. So. would have Daniel and, and all the yeah. likes on. And at that age, I hated country music, but the, right. the older I got, the more I grew, yeah. grew to love it. Yeah. And when I started singing the country music, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. turn back now. Uh, now, over the last couple of years, particularly, you've had some great successes, haven't you? I have, yes. Uh, now you've you've been on uh, TG4, Kultira. Yes. Now tell us a bit about that experience. Um, I actually was on Glory and I had a fantastic experience. Um, I was singing in Bundorn in the Allingham Arms uh, one evening before a gentleman called Robert Mazel. And the country kings. And right. Was it Robert that introduced you then on the program? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. when I as, as his guest. As I was. He was yeah. my mentor um, okay, throughout yeah. the program. So right. him and the band they were a great help to me. And and while we were on the TV, I kind of toured around the country with him and all the band right. and and all the, the wives and fiancés. Fantastic and band, hasn't he, Robert? Oh, I mean, he does. Yeah. You know, from Louisiana and, and and settled in Ireland about ten years ago, and has made a massive impact, hasn't oh, he? Oh, he's he's really scene. done fantastic since yeah. he came over. And, and did you such a great enjoy the experience lads. working with Robert then? I, I and would you say you gained a lot of experience as well? It was tremendous experience, and yeah. after the show, um, he continued to help me, and we actually recorded a duet on his latest album, and it's called "I Told You So." Okay. Now, what's happened since you did the uh, Glotera program? Since I've done the Glor Cheater programme, I've recorded the, the duet with Robert. Um, I've actually also been on a tour with Crystal Swing. Oh, yeah. Um, that was a great success. And Absolutely. It was, it was great for me to, great exposure for me to get round the country. And, and I mean, they, they've been packing them in, haven't they? They have, yes. And we're actually, it went that way, we're actually doing another one now. Brilliant. Um, and, and you're going months. to be guesting as well? Yes, I'll be guesting again. Well done, so, so you're getting a lot of ex exposure there as well. I am. Tell yeah. us about the new album. I'm in the middle of recording a new album at the minute. Um, I've done a few singles, a couple of singles I've released. One was Old Fashioned Girl yep. and one was called I'm a Little Bit Lonely. That's my latest one. Okay. Um, so we're hoping to have that finished for September time. Right. I know you're getting a lot of radio airplay all over Ireland, so you're certainly getting out there. Now, uh, any sign of a band over the next few months? Yes, hopefully when I get the album finished, we'll do an album launch and then we'll launch the band as well so that we can get things up and running fully. Brilliant. So. It's a gamble, but if you never try it, you'll never know if it will work. Uh, now, Lisa, do you have a website? And I do, yes. do you have a contact number, maybe, if people were interested in um, talking about bookings and things? If yes. you give us the website first, if you will. My website is wwwlisa com, and there's plenty of information on there and, and contact the, details. And the information well, and, yeah. and the, the albums and things? Yes, and I've got all of the information on it. And if there. anyone needs to contact me, there's, there's the contact methods on there. Okay. Well, listen, uh, we wish you the very best for the future. Thank you very much. Uh, there's no doubt about it that you're going to do extremely well. You're now based in Letterkenny in Donegal? I'm living in Letterkenny with my sister, yes. That's, that's a wise move. <laughs> that's a wise move. Well, we wish you the very best of luck and uh, maybe a bit later on we'll have you on as a guest again. Thank you very Lisa much. Lisa McHugh, thank you very much for joining me and good luck with your career. Thanks very much, Richard. Thank, thank you. you.